What's up, guys? Mark back here. Yeah, I know it's been a while. Yeah, I've just mainly just focused and concentrated on myself, but we are back with another series. Do I know which team I'm going to be? Absolutely not. You probably know by the title of the video and the hashtag. I don't know, but let's see. So, as you can see, we are on the PS5, if you couldn't tell by this. We are on the PS5 with FIFA 23. Now, I may have... Uh, I have to readjust this later because this is a little loud for me. So, uh, if I load a save career, that these are just all like testing ones just to see. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a new career mode. So, uh, let's see which team we're going to be. Okay, so one thing cool this year with FIFA, you can actually, obviously, you can be a created person or a real person as normal, but you can actually play as a real manager, which I honestly think is really cool. So if we just wanted to take, oh, let's just say, I don't know, let's just say we wanted to take Stevie Gerrard and put him on Manchester United. I didn't mean to do this. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. So yeah, you can do like uh, silly little things like that. Uh, but basically what we are going to do... Uh, do we want to play as a real manager? Um, editing Mark here. Yeah, I just cut out about five minutes of uh, me trying to figure out all the uh, different real managers. So yeah, you're welcome. Uh, hmm. Who do we want to be? Miroslav Klose? You know. We could be Klose. You know, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to be Miroslav Klose. Which is, this is honestly kind of cool. That you can actually change their uh, shoes. Obviously we are not going to be SCR Altak. And from here, you could even have Miroslav Klose create your Spicy Boys franchise or whatever. Um, but obviously, we are going to go to Germany. And I have a, I have gone through Germany and made sure everybody is... The stadium is real as possible. They're not fun, I'll tell you that much. Um... Actually, you know what? No. You know what I think we're going to do just for this first, just for the uh, first, uh, whatever you want to call this, career mode. Yes, that's a thing. Um, Roma has Paolo de Balo. Pablo de Balo. Uh, who? Atlanta would be good. France, basically the goal would just be take down PSG, obviously, but PSG and Lille at this point. Beautiful kits, Lille. Um, Mies has a pretty decent one. Uh, Lyon, I actually like Lyon's kits. I think we may be going to Lyon. Because obviously we're not doing PSG because it's a walk in the park. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Let's just go with uh, Olympic Lyon. Uh, we're going to go with the Euros. We're not going to do a financial takeover. We're not doing international jobs, even though there's three new ones. I think it's Ghana, Croatia, and Morocco, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, we'll disable the first transfer window. And just focus on the youth and figure out who's actually going to be with us. So, I'll see you in a couple minutes when everything gets set up. Merci d'être venu et bienvenue au groupe Ama Stadium. Je vous demande d'accueillir votre nouvel entraîneur. All right, as you saw, we are French. Uh, yeah, we're in France. Um, so basically, one thing that's different with the preseason tournaments, you literally have to win everything to win the prize money. 
Um, which honestly I like because it was easy just to get the money and the money and the money and the money. Uh, let's go with, let's see, what seems to be not so much the easiest, but the easiest one to win. Um, we have Ajax in our group. Uh, let's just go with the European and National Cup. We may not even use it. So, uh, you may think, what the hell is this? Um, even I go, what the hell is this sometimes? Because I'm still not entirely sure how to... Do some of this sometimes. Ah, advanced, advanced customization. And that's how you, like, bypass training days or anything like that. Which, honestly, I think we're just going to do normal uh, training. Before match, rest day, after match, recover day, intermittent training. There, that works perfectly. Okay, so. Now, the chat that used to be triangle. Or. Uh, X, A, Y. Sorry, I'm using a PS5 controller for PS5. For PS5, it is now the right stick. Love it. Uh, I will go back to that. Oh my god, our academy is huge. Okay, so uh, what's our academy looking like? I did not get the ultimate uh, version of this game, so uh, I didn't get. Oh my god, I have never seen a 38 overall player. That is amazing. Uh, that... Technically speaking, is a goalie? Um, yeah, no, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, 46, 46. Alright, so we have Chi Hu Sin, a 6 for 2 goalie. Um... Let's get him working on his weak foot and being a sweeper keeper. Um, we have a center forward named Roberto Diaz. Let's see if he can actually play any other positions. Um, could be a winger. Decent speed for 15 years old. Uh, he's already a center forward, so... He probably wouldn't make a bad cam, to be honest with you. Um, striker, he's not a striker. Uh, agility, dribbling. Uh, you know what? Let's try and make him a winger first. And then we have Dare Delaney from North... Uh, oh god, Adri, you know what? No, never mind. I just saw the, uh, potentials. Yeah. So, uh, Fuad Ali. We're gonna build this guy. Time out, time out, time out. 38 overall. Five-star skill move. Five-star weak foot. We need to build this guy up. And he can play all through the... How? 74 balance. His speed isn't that bad, though. Ball control's not that... He, is he a winger? It would take the same amount of time to be a striker as it would to be a winger. He is not defensive. Uh, he is right-footed, so I'll start him. I'll start training him to be a right midfielder. Okay, so that's a thing. I didn't realize that. Obviously, you can always using the touchpad hit the trainer, which honestly I don't use the trainer. Uh, let's see what our objectives are for the year. So, continental success. Do we? Are we not in Europe? Yeah, so we don't have to worry about Europe this year. Um, both good and bad, because it would be nice to get European glory. All I see is Lacazette, and I think... Okay, this is going to be interesting. Uh, that's not what I want. Squad hub. Let's see what we're working with. Obviously, why is he not captain? Who? Dave Tagli... Who is captain? Also, one thing I will do. I'm sorry to anybody that doesn't have a face in FIFA. I cannot. Why is Lacazette captain? No. Anthony Lopez is captain. 
Okay, so, now we can actually look at the squad hub. So, goalies, we have Anthony Lopez, which is perfect. We have Pollard back, Remy Ryu, and Kane Bonnevy. Uh, I don't foresee a future for anybody but Anthony Lopez, so that's completely fine on my, my aspect. Left backs, we have Nico Tagliafico, formerly of Ajax, one of my uh, other favorite teams. Nico Tagliafico, 29, so we'll have to look at getting a younger left back in the future. Uh, Nico's going to be good for a few years. We have Yusuf Kone on loan at Ajaxio. 26? Ah! Could be worse. What's his... See, yeah, he needs to be on loan. Up next, we have Henrique, a 28... Uh, year old backup left back. That's completely fine. Center bats looks like it's going to be fun. Tiago Mendez is expiring in 12 months. We'll have to figure him out. Castelo Luqueba. I think he's going to be the star. Once he comes back from loan, he is getting sold. Chenk Osh. American with European names. Not fun. Senk Urzakar? I'm sorry if I'm butchering names. Jerome Bobateng. Expiring in 12 months. Uh, I will see how he plays. Sinali Diamande. Uh, why is he number two? But he's showing great potential, so that's awesome. Uh, Damian De Silva is retiring at the end of the season. Thank you. For your services. Right backs. A uh, guy that's going to get transfer listed. Erwin Lomani. Okay. And Malo Gusto. Uh, he's staying. He's also good. Uh, defensive mids. We have Maxence Kekere, or Kekere. I always bought him in other FIFAs. So I'm excited to use him. And Johan Lepana. Uh, beautiful hair. Showing great potential. Okay. I can work with that. Uh, center mids, we have Habib Keita on loan. I'll see how he does. Florent da Silva. Um, I'm going to have to send him on loan when possible. The old Arsenal man, Jeff Rene Adelaide. I think I said that correctly. And Quarantine Taliso. Bought in from Bayern, so that, I'm happy with that. So it looks like I can run a 4-3-3. We have Mohamed El Arouche, uh, showing great potential, awesome. And then we have Hassem Uar, uh, Uar, Mr. 57K. Um, can we just try 50 to 70? Three-year extension and takes a $2,000 pay cut. I like him already. He has that special something. Um, we only have one physical right mid of Roman Fayer. Um... Could I possibly make him a winger to make myself happy? The answer is yes. Left wingers. He's getting sold. Bradley Barkala. Uh, he could possibly get sold off at one point. Rayon Turkey. I want to make... Exciting prospect. I knew I had to... Redo his contract just to see this because the exciting prospect is 85 to 89, if I'm not mistaken. Oh boy, is he fun to play with. Out of context, don't take that out of context. But yeah, he is... Once he gets up to his actual potential, he is a wonderful person. Uh, can I just get him... He's already got 5-star skill moves and weak foot. Awesome. Um... Can I make you inverted winger? What do you want? You know, let's just make you a wide playmaker for now. Then we have uh, Carl Toko Ekambi. He's 29, so he'll probably be the main guy for right now. Um, and then Turkey will be the occasional one. Maybe use Toko for like a year or two. And then once he uh, goes away, I'll give Turkey the number seven. 
Uh, right wingers, we have Yaha, Yaya, actually Yaya, Subare, expiring in 12 months. Uh, probably let him go, to be honest with you. We have, in a beautiful kit at Mallorca, Tino Katawari, um, 26, probably isn't gonna expand further. So, probably sell him off. And then we have a guy on loan. We have Tete on loan. If this is the same Tete that I'm thinking of, this man is... Okay, not the one I was thinking of. Okay, we can we can es essentially buy him later. Awesome. So, Strikers, I think I need to send out a person, a youth, or er, a youth scout. We'll hire a youth scout in a minute. A youth scout to get a striker because we have Giannis Lagha. Uh, Musa Dembele, who I will re-sign. Uh, actually, he's on what? 73 right now? Uh, 70, let's just... Three years extension? Absolutely. And then we also have Alexander Lacazette, who I guess came in on a free or whatever. So, that's a thing. So that's our squad. Uh, Youth Academy. It just goes back to these guys. I want to build up that. He's 17, so I could use him immediately. What is our normal team looking like? So now he's playing at the camp position. Uh, Taliso is playing there, which is perfect. Kekare is playing there. Excellent. Uh, Lukeva, Mendez, Gusto, Tegle, Fico, Lopez. Perfect. This is literally exactly how I want to do the squad. Uh, what's next? Uh, transfers. This is where you have the scouts and everything like that. Search players, transfer hub, yada, 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 yada. So, let's just get the you staff. Um, we have a budget of 54 million, so yay. Uh, let's just go Christophe Pellier, along with Philippe Leon. And let's also go with, I wish I could... I wish I could sign this guy, but I honestly don't know how to pronounce that last name. Um, so we're just going to go with Rick Meyer. Now, I'm going to send one scout out now and keep him in France for nine months. Because, you know, we got to have our homegrown, homegrown Frenchies. Um, that's awesome. And then I figure... Where's the calendar? Obviously, first time set up. With the... Uh, with the youth scouting, if you put three right back to back to back, they may not get uh, great uh, results. So I'll probably send one. Huh. Let's go first 11th. First 11th and 21st, maybe? Or 110 and. Tw yeah, the first to 10th and the 20th. So. Uh, in the next episode, I will probably sim up to the 15th, see if we have to do anything else like that. But, uh, I think that's gonna be it for right now. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first episode. I figured out where we're gonna be, so yay. Um, if you guys are excited for, I don't want to say the comeback, because I can't guarantee any of this, any of this will, uh, like, uh, be on a consistent basis. But hopefully... Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the content again, and hope you guys have a great day.